This is the management of a patient during a pneumonectomy, which is a removal of a lung. There are several lines that you want to place first. You want an arterial line to help monitor their hemodynamics and allow for rapid blood draws. You might want a central venous catheter for concentrated vasopressors, ionotropes, and to assess your central venous pressure. You want at least one large bore IV for resuscitation, and these are especially important when doing an extrapleural pneumonectomy in which you're taking the pleura and some of the lymph nodes as well. In a pneumonectomy, you want to avoid excessive perioperative fluids, so it's been shown that if you have more than three liters in the first 24 hours, that can cause an acute lung injury. You also might want to consider diuresis to prevent excessive fluids. And both of these work to promote post-pneumonectomy pulmonary edema. Vasoactives are important for hemodynamic support. This also helps reduce excessive fluid resuscitation. Lastly, your one lung ventilation strategy should contain tidal volumes of less than five and plateau pressures of less than 25. 